Hey guys, it's Cynthia from drawingchick.com and today we're going to work on drawing a peacock. We're going to start with a circle for the head and down from the circle we are just going to make a curved line. And we're going to connect a body. It's going to be a football shape or kind of looks like a lemon as well. Basically just two curved lines. And then we'll use the same curved shape for a tail. We're going to start uh, about three qu um, quarter of the way up onto the body. And we're going to just bring it down, maybe flare out a little bit, just like that. And we'll come back up and make a triangle for the beak. And just add a little bit extra for the bottom of the beak and we'll come out and make a curve and add a little bit of depth to the chest and then if you've ever seen a peacock or a picture of a peacock they have <clears throat> I don't know if these are feathers or what exactly they are on top of their heads just a few small lines and we'll match those up with curved lines and just top them off with some more straight lines, just like that. And now we're going to go down, create the tail. I'm going to start with a curved line and make a teardrop shape. We're going to go in and outline that teardrop. And come in and make a tulip shape, or perhaps you might even look at it as a teacup shape for the first feather. And then I found this design earlier and it's not an actual peacock design but I like it so I'm going to add it to the tail. And we'll start with the three small circles and one large circle at the bottom. We'll come up and do a spiral with upside down U and a spiral on the other side. Then we're going to create a bigger spiral and just connect those. And one more spiral on the other side. And on the outside we're going to go the opposite direction and make another spiral. We're going to come down underneath and create a gap and then I've put these two a little too close together, so we'll just blend it behind. And I'm going to make several small circles inside here, and just some curved rectangles to give some dimension to the design. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to make some lemon shapes leaf shapes, flower petals, whatever you think they look like. Um, going down the back side of the tail, bring another curve line down to do another peacock style feather a little further down. You can alternate these so you don't want them all falling in the exact same spot. We'll just draw another inside line, curve line, top it to make the tulip shape, and I think we'll bring another down here, coming off this way, just inside and out, and come up here and add an eye, and let's give this guy just a couple of little legs, alright, um, that's where I'd leave it at this point and go back in and start inking on a fresh piece of paper. I um, actually like to use a light box. Um, it just speeds the process up a little bit and I don't have to worry about going back in and erasing anything. So I'm actually going to turn the camera off right now, go in and outline it, and then I think I'll start adding some details. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks guys.